Grand Rapids started a league in April of 2005. I joined um, late May or early June of the same year. It took us about a year to put on our first game in April 2006 at the Delta Plex, and this is our third year of, of games. Um, our first game this year was a huge success. Uh, we had a sellout. We had a ton of new fans. So we worked really hard to push PR and had a bunch of new skaters making their debut this season. So it, it worked out great. We have two teams in Grand Rapids, the G-Rap Attack, which is a little bit more of a home and local team. They play other cities, but mostly only cities from the Midwest, and they don't uh, compete for national rankings. Our all-star team competes uh, for WFTDA. They only allow one chartered team from, from every league or city in the U.S. to compete. So our all-stars compete for national rankings. Each team has four blockers on the floor and one jammer. The jams start over every two minutes unless they're called off early by obtaining lead jammer status, which is only possible by one jammer, um, the first one to legally clear the pack. And on your first pass, no points are scored. It's only for lead jammer status. The first jammer to legally and inbounds pass the pack uh, obtains lead jammer status. If one does, they have the ability to call the jam off early, which means strategically if they're in the lead, they can go through the pack again, obtaining one point for each player they pass legally and inbounds. So sometimes you can score 12, 15 points um, per jam, but you might not want to. Um, the, the way you win a game is by point differential. We've been lucky to, um, Grand Rapids is one of the smallest metropolitan cities to remain um, right around the top 20 leagues out of 70 in WFTDA, which is, which is pretty impressive and we hope, to, uh, we hope to make sure we stay within that top 20 and hopefully even can chop a few off that this year.